Mother. Uh, no, I'm gonna vomit. Oh god. Hello, hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I am so excited. We are going to be watching the Titanic from 1997. I feel like this is such a classic movie and I've always felt left out because everyone's seen it, everyone kind of gets the references to it, but it always just goes over my head. The main reason why I haven't watched it is because of the long runtime. It's like just over three hours. So that's kind of dissuaded me. I've heard that it's sad as well. So I'm not, I don't really choose to watch sad movies. So that is kind of why I've avoided it. Although it is an epic love story from what I've heard. So I think I am going to enjoy it quite a lot. Now, I know this has Leonardo DiCaprio and Kate Winslet in it. I think I've only seen two Leonardo DiCaprio movies that, that I can think of right now. I know I've watched Wolf of Wall Street and Romeo and Juliet. Those are the two off the top of my head. I'm not sure if I've seen him in anything else. And Kate Winslet, I think I've only seen her in The Holiday. Great movie, by the way. It's like a, is it a Christmas movie? I don't know, but it's a good movie. It's like a romance. It's really nice. But yeah, I know this movie is like when they were both a lot younger. So it's going to be really interesting to see, you know, how they act in it, I guess. I'm curious at least. Um, Now onto spoilers. So I do know that this is loosely based on a true story, right? Like the Titanic is a real ship and it like sunk or something. I know he says, oh no, she says, pay me like one of your French girls. I know there's a Celine Dion song. I can't remember which one it is. I think it's one of those movies where it's really hard to avoid spoilers. So I think I have a rough idea of what happens, but I am really excited to watch it. So let's get into it. I'm so excited. I will be uploading my unedited and uncut version of this reaction onto Patreon. So if that's something you're interested in, please check it out. I'll have the link in the description. <laughs> so like dramatic and ominous. Titanic. I'll be real. I did not know that there was like submarines back then. I guess submarines have been around for a while. Oh, no, maybe this is, uh, like, present day then. 3,821 meters. Pressure outside is three and a half tons per square inch. To be honest, I thought it was going to be like a historical movie. Historical, like, it followed the story of, of the people on the ship rather than like people discovering the ship if that makes sense okay, wow so like mm, i don't know what the word is it's very like beautiful but unsettling oh baby baby are you seeing this boss it's payday boys uh were they like looting for treasure or they were illegally looking for stuff, probably. It would it be illegal? I don't know. Oh my god, imagine if there's nothing in it. No diamonds. You know, boss, the same thing happened to Geraldo and his career never recovered. Oh my god. I mean, that's what he gets for like disturbing a historical grave, I guess. A piece of paper that's been underwater for 84 years. And my team are able to preserve it intact. Oh my god. Is it her? Can you tell us who the woman in the picture is? <gasps> oh yes. The woman in the picture is me. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> oh my god. So did many people survive the Titanic? I thought they all died. I'm guessing some people survived it then. I would like to see my drawing. Oh. I feel like it would help her like resurface the memory. Right, like it'd be like a memory trigger. Oh, yeah. You actually think this is you, Nana? It is me, dear. Wasn't I a dish? <laughs> She's sexy. Along the side, below the water line. Then the forward compartments start to flood. Aww. Now as the water level rises. That must be so like, Traumatic. The bow section planes away. Landing about a half a mile away, going 20, 30 knots when it hits the ocean floor. That's crazy. Fine Aww. forensic analysis, Mr. Bodine. Of course, 
the experience of it was somewhat different. Yeah, I feel like it would be horrific. It would just be like so intense and traumatic. You'd have like PTSD. Tell us, Rose. It's been 84 years. It's okay, just try to remember <laughs> anything. Isn't that a meme? <laughs> It's been 84 years. Was that from Spongebob? Ooh, uh, that fashion. Let's go. Wow. She looks very, like, elegant. Very demure. demure. Very mindful. So this is the ship they say is unsinkable. It Sir. is unsinkable. Sir. God himself could not sink this ship. What? what? Unsinkable. I feel like that's a curse from the start. When you got nothing, you got nothing to lose. Oh my god, he's so young. He literally looks like a baby. I, I mean, he looks like definitely younger than 20s. Have you been through the inspection queue? Of course. Anyway, we don't have any license. We're Americans. Both of us. Right. Oh my god. <laughs> what? We don't have any lice. We're American. Oh my god. Take her to see Mr. Murdoch. Let's stretch her legs. I'm wondering where the phrase that it was unsinkable came from. Like because it was a like a new innovation in boats or something. Or because it was just like built with high quality materials. <laughs> oh, it's a steamboat. Wait, I don't think I know how that works. Wait, like the pressure of the steam? Yeah, the steam pressure runs the engine or something. So the more pressure, the more energy in the engine type thing. Okay. Wow. The green screen. <laughs> the green screen on his feet. Can you see that? <laughs> Could they not just film on an actual boat? Huh? The animation? What? What is this animation? What the hell was that? Whoa! That was not what I was expecting. <laughs> yeah! And size means stability, luxury, and above all, strength. Do you know of Dr. Freud, Mr. Ismay? His ideas about the male preoccupation with size might be of particular interest to you. Oh, so you tell him, girl. Jesus. Did you make any money with your drawings? <gasps> she does look beautiful. That dress is so stunning. <gasps> oh, she did the double take. Did you see that? Yeah, she did. She did the double look. With no one to pull me back, no one who cared or even noticed. That poor girl. It must be like so suffocating being in like that life and that family. No. Huh? No, she wouldn't. Oh, I guess she's really depressed, isn't she? Oh God. It would be so easy too. There's no one like guarding it or anything. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Oh. I'm involved now. You let go and I'm, I'm gonna have to jump in there after you. Oh, that's really cute. <laughs> Come on, give me your hand. You don't want to do this. Aww. Come on. <gasps> oh my god! <gasps> Bro! <laughs> no, please! Lift her up, lift her up. Jesus Christ. Propellers? Propellers, and I slipped. And I would have gone overboard, but Mr. Dawson here saved me and almost went over himself. She wanted to see the. She wanted to see the propellers. <laughs> like I said, women and machinery do not mix. Oh. What an asshole! I think a twenty should do it. <laughs> Is that the going rate for saving the woman you love? 
<laughs> Far out. Interesting. The young lady slipped so suddenly and you still had time to remove your jacket and your shoes. Yeah, but he's not gonna tell them the truth. Like, he's doing her a favor by, like, lying for her. You know, there's nothing I couldn't give you. There's nothing I'd deny you. If you would not deny me. He's so toxic. No, it's not what I was thinking. What I was thinking was, what could have happened to this girl to make her think she had no way out? No, It's very, like, considerate. Plunging ahead and me, powerless to stop it. God, look at that thing. You would have gone straight to the bottom. <laughs> you are rude and uncouth mm. and presumptuous and I am leaving now. Jack, Mr. Dawson, it's been a pleasure. I sought you out to thank you and now I- I guess there's, like, a very- large class divide right but culture divide as well like she's english and he's american or is she american sorry she has like a posh american accent well she had beautiful hands you see i think you must have had a love affair with her no no no, no. Ooh, 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 ooh. he has a hand fetish Ooh. the prisoners the size of titanic now i want them to marvel at her speed we must give them something new to print. This maiden voyage of Titanic must make headlines. Also, that actor looks really familiar. And I can't put my finger on where he's from. No, we'll do it. We'll drink cheap beer. We'll ride on the roller coaster till we throw up. Aww. We'll ride horses on the beach, right in the surf. Now, but you'll have to do it like a real cowboy. None of that side saddle. Wow, she's like really daydreaming. No, Jack, I couldn't None. possibly, Jack. Watch closely. <clears throat> <laughs> That's so fucking gross. Arc your neck. Can you see the range on that? Thing? Oh my god, there's nothing but. I hate spinning so much. No, I'm actually gonna vomit. This is so gross. Oh no. It's on his chin. Yuck, 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 yuck. No, I'm gonna vomit. Oh god. This is so feral. Jesus Christ. Oh, I'm. Freaking hell. Do you have the slightest comprehension what you're doing? Oh. Not really. Well, you're about to go into the snake pit. True, actually, because she's the one that's like suffering just because she's not as posh as them. He's going to have like a worse time, probably. Oh, she'll be along. There is the countess. Oh. Hello, Good my evening, dear. <laughs> She looks gorgeous. You could almost pass for a gentleman. Almost. <laughs> Such like a backhanded compliment, Jesus. And over here we have Sir Cosmo and Lucille Lady Duff Gordon. She designs naughty lingerie among her many talents. Oh. <laughs> Very popular with the royals. So sour, Are you of the Boston Dawsons? No, the Chippewa Falls Dawsons, actually. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes, I know exactly who that is. <laughs> Tell us of the accommodations in steerage, Mr. Dawson. The best I've seen, ma'am. Hardly any rats. <laughs> uh, so he's gonna be like the comedy sort of personality. Got everything I need right here with me. Got air in my lungs and a few blank sheets of paper. I mean, I love waking up in the morning not knowing what's gonna happen. Or... Very, like, free spirit. I figure life's a gift and I don't intend on wasting it. Oh, I love that philosophy. Next it'll be Brandy's in the smoking room. Now they retreat into a cloud of smoke and congratulate each other on being masters of the universe. <laughs> I wonder what's in it. Like a love note or something. Or like where to like meet up. Make it count. Meet me at the clock. Yes. Oh my gosh, how romantic. So you want to go to a real party? Ooh. Yes. He's going to show her how like a proper party is. Let's go. I guess it's interesting to, for her to see the men and the women partying together, right? 
that they like separated and had their own sort of parties. But this one is like everyone dancing and having fun together, whether it's like kids or adults. I feel like it's an interesting sort of difference. Wow, go on then, do that little Irish jig. <laughs> Oh my god, the comparison, good god. Jesus, no wonder she just hated it so much. Like, it was so, like, oppressive and boring. Look at her, having fun. You think you're big tough men? Let's see you do this. Oh? Oh my god, what is she doing? Wow. Oh my god, ow. That's tough. <laughs> oh, she's so happy. I'm not a foreman in one of your mills that you can command. I'm your fiance. My fiance! Yes, you are! And my oh my god! This if not yet by law, so you will honor me. You will honor me the way a wife is required to honor a husband. Oh my god. What an asshole. Jesus Christ. Oh. Oh, poor Rose. Oh. Oh my god, bless her. <laughs> Jesus. I mean, no wonder she like wanted to kill herself if she's gonna, she's about to have like an abusive husband and like a smothering family. A situation is precarious. You know the money's gone. Oh, you know it's gone. You remind me every day. So they're marrying for money. How can you put this on my shoulders? Why are you being so selfish? I'm being selfish. <gasps> I mean, you tell her. Sir, another ice warning. This one's from the Norden. Thank you, Oh, not to worry. Quite normal for this time of year. In An fact, ice we're speeding warning. up. I've just ordered the last boilers lit. Oh, I guess because they're yeah, going from Ireland to America, right? So it's just like a lot of northern ICC, I guess. Forgive me, but it seems that there are not enough for everyone aboard. Oh. About half, actually. But it was thought by some that the deck would look too cluttered. Oh. So I was overruled. Oh no, but less lifeboats means that more people die. Oh my god, that's actually so bad. I understand. Oh, look, the butterfly I'm clear. Now. You jump, I... Oh, the, uh, it's a moth, I think. Sooner or later, that fire that I love about you, Rose, that fire is going to burn out. Wow, he's already dropping the lock on. Hello, Jack. Oh. I changed my mind. Yay. They're gonna run away together. Give me your hand. Oh. Isn't this is this is the Celine Dion song? I'm flying. Jack. Wow. How beautiful! Wow, so romantic! Like the sunset, going through the ocean. Oh, oh god! That's so sad. Oh, incredible. There's Smith and he's standing there and he's got the iceberg warning in his fucking hand. Excuse me, his hand. And he's ordering- Oh yeah, true. Jack, I want you to draw me like one of your French girls. <gasps> Wearing this. Oh. All right. Yeah! Draw me like one of your French girls. Let's go! I guess this is like her liberation moment, right? Freeing herself from her old life and embracing her new life, like the life that she had always sort of wanted, I guess, subconsciously or consciously. Oh, she's beautiful. The last thing I need is another picture of me looking like a porcelain doll. 
Oh, isn't she beautiful? <laughs> He's so nervous. Yeah. Tell me when it looks put, right. Put your arm back the way it was. Put that other arm up. <laughs> right by your face there. Mm, like elegantly draped. Elegant, but like relaxed, you know? I feel like that's her new image. I believe you were blushing, Mr. Big Artiste. <laughs> See, she's so like confident now. I feel like there's such a difference in her demeanor. Like she's so confident and playful. Whereas before when she was with him, she was always like so shy and reserved. I really like that that difference. Oh. My heart was pounding the whole time. Isn't that beautiful? It was the most erotic moment oh. of my life. <laughs> It was the most erotic moment of my life. Oh my god. Oh, the money. Oh my god, is he gonna steal the money? Surely not. Oh my god. She's gonna be in so much trouble if he finds them. Bitch. Yeah, she's in her rebellious era. We love to see it. <laughs> Nervous. Aww. It's probably like the only decision that she's ever made for herself. Like I feel like all the other decisions were made by her mom or her fiance. So she's probably just so happy and relieved. You know, I can smell us, you know. <sighs> what is there? Bollocks. <laughs> well, I can, all right. Did you ever find those binoculars for the lookout? Is that how they're going to spot it? Just with their eyes? I thought they would have like a sonar radar or something. Or maybe that wasn't invented. Okay, that would make sense if it wasn't invented. Oh, oh, goodness gracious. So stupid. <laughs> He's like shaking. <laughs> oh my god. The paint, the painting, right? The drawing, sorry. Oh. <gasps> Darling, now can you keep us both locked in the safe? What did that say? I didn't see what that said. When the ship docks. I'm getting off with you. Aww. This is crazy. <laughs> I know. Aww. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck me! Oh my god! Can they turn? Hold it! Now! Engage the reversing engine! Oh, they're gonna reverse! Oh, that's so cool! Oh, it's gonna. Oh yeah, it's gonna hit the sign. Oh god. <gasps> oh god, he's gonna know something's wrong instantly. Right, the architect or the engineer, whichever he was. That's cliche, would not it? Smell ice, can ya? Bleeding Christ. Oh yeah, is it their fault? Because they didn't see it? Kind of. I guess it's everyone's fault. Like, going too quickly, not paying attention. Yeah, they kind of... It was kind of everyone's fault. You there. Sir, there is no emergency. Yes, there is. I have been robbed. Get the master at arms. Now, you moron! He took the diamond. Oh no, he didn't take the diamond and he's gonna blame him. Is that what's gonna happen? Yeah. Yeah, look, there it is. No. That's dirty. Don't you believe it, Rose? Don't! He couldn't have. Of course he could. It's easy enough for a professional. Come on. But I was with him the whole time. This is absurd. James, he did it while you're putting your clothes back on, dear. Oh. What an asshole. She can stay afloat with the first four compartments breached, but not five. Oh. 
Not five. She's not gonna float. How much time? An hour. Oh. Two at most. Oh god, that's nothing. <gasps> oh god, I hope he dies. Oh god. You look at me when I'm talking to you. I hope he dies straight away. I am sure it's just a precaution. Everybody up, life belts on! Oh, so different. He's he's like, what's going on? Like, we're about to die. Why is everyone just drinking wine and listening to music? You care for a drink, sir? Oh, come on. You can convince them. The ship will sink. Oh. In an hour or so. All this will be at the bottom of the Atlantic. Oh, my God. You remember what I told you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Come on, Rose. Leave your dirty fiance behind and go grab your cutie boyfriend. <gasps> no, up in second class post office. Speak more about that. Go on, I'll keep an eye on him. No, that's so unfair. Handcuffing him to the pole, he's just dead. The only one who's responding, the only one closer, says they can be here in four hours. Four hours, they're gonna be dead in four hours, right here. All right, boys, like the captain said, nice and cheery so there's no panic. Oh, God. Wedding dance. What? Is that their way of like, no one panic, guys? Oh, like a health flare. Oh, my God, it's already sunk. Will the lifeboats be seated according to class? Oh, shut up. Shut up! Don't you understand? The water is freezing and there aren't enough boats. Not enough by half. Half the people on this ship are going to die. Not the better half. Oh! Oh my god! Give me a whore to gutter rat! Oh my god. I'd rather be his whore than your wife. Farah! <laughs> oh. No! I said no! No! Let it go! <laughs> Oh my god, ew. Oh my god, no, that's disgusting. I mean, he deserves it though. He's a horrible person. Oh, the water. Come on, come on. Rose! How did you find out I didn't do it? I didn't. I just realized I already knew. Aww. Yeah, she trusts him. Oh, thank god! Yeah. Yeah. There's yeah. a man back here and he's- and he, and he, Wait! Yeah. Everyone's just gonna save themselves. Really hard and really fast. Oh my god, she's gonna freaking chop off his hand. Open your hands up a little more. Oh my god, this is stressing me out too much. Go! <laughs> Can hell! <laughs> oh my god. What do you think you're doing? You'll have to pay for that, you know. That's why it's not property. Shut up! They're all gonna die. Who cares about the property here? Why are the boats being launched half? <gasps> not now, Mr. Andrew. There, look. 20 or so in a boat built for 65. And I saw one boat with only 12. 12? Well, we weren't sure of the weight, Mr. Andrew. No. These boats may buckle. What the hell? Why are they not filling them? Why? Oh my god. What is wrong with people? God damn it! Son of a bitch! Stop that! Just open the gate! Fabry, tell me, give me a hand! Yes! Come on! Yes! Go, go, go! Man, people, I just. I just don't get it. Get back, I say! Or I'll shoot you all like dogs! Keep order here! Hell! What's happening? Why? We have an understanding then, Mr. Murdoch. I don't think I could do that, you know? If it was in that situation, then and there, I just wouldn't take the bribe. I would just get as many people on the boat as possible. 
take them down. I feel bad for though, for like all the workers, right? Like that guy. I have an arrangement with an officer on the other side of the ship. Jack and I can get off safely. Both of us. Yeah, he's a liar. Oh, poor Rose. Poor Jack. Rose! Oh no, she's not gonna do it. Stop her! Rose! Oh! Why did you do that? Why? Her. You jump, I jump, right? Yeah. Oh! No! 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 I knew he was gonna do something! No! What a sad, desperate man. Leave him alone. I hope you enjoy your time together! Oh my god, is this where it's gonna break in half? I put the diamond in the coat. And I put the coat on her! She's wearing the coat! Yes! Oh my god, so does she still have the diamond then, as like the old lady? Oh! Oh my god! Oh no! Oh no! Oh my god, what? Oh my god, all the pressure of the water is gonna be like so heavy. Oh. Please! Some human decency, dude. Oh. I guess you gotta save yourself at one point, though. There's only so much you can do. Had a deal, yeah. The money can't save you any more than it could save me. Good fuck! You tell him. <gasps> oh. Oh. oh my god! Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Please, I have a child! Oh, he's gonna use it Please. as his excuse. All she has in the world. <laughs> I'm sorry, evil what the Good luck to your boss. Oh, the life vest. And you. I guess he's going down with the ship, right? Like he was the uh, like the engineer or the architect, so he's committed to going down with it. And he's the captain. Is he gonna go down with the ship? Surely. Nah, he's going down with it. You wouldn't be able to live with the shame, I feel like. If you survived, you would have to live with that shame of everyone dying. Goodbye, Molly. Good luck. Goodbye, Molly. Take a around the bed Is he gonna keep playing? Bless him. God, that's sad, isn't it? Bless. Oh. Oh, bless. Oh, no. Would you not jump into the water? Would that not be safer? I, I thought, like, jumping into the water and swimming away would be more safe. Because then you won't get caught on the debris and drown. Because they have the life vest. Oh, it's all gonna explode from the pressure, probably. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah, they're all... Are they falling off or are they jumping off? Oh, 
like it's being sucked inward. So even if you're on the outside, they're being sucked into the windows. Oh God. Oh. Oh no. The freaking propellers. Oh God. I don't think you would survive that fall. Come on. Oh, which is where she was at the start, right? Where she wanted to jump and he saved her. Is that where they're gonna jump from? No. I'm pretty sure it's exactly where they are. Like right next to the pole. This is where we first met. Yeah. Oh, you would die. You would die from that height. Maybe that's the point. Maybe that's what they... Oh! Maybe that's what they want to do. Oh, God. Maybe it'd be better to, to die from the jump than to... Oh. <gasps> oh, I don't know if that's better or worse. In the pitch black. Probably worse. Uh oh, here it is. <gasps> oh my god, just right down the middle. Oh my god, and they're all gonna get crushed. The people under. Oh! Oh, and it's going back up again is what the thing said. Uh, it goes up and then sinks downwards, right? Keep your hand, I'll pull you over. Yeah. Come on, give your hand. Give, oh. your hand. give me your hand, I'll pull you over. Which is exactly what happened at the start. Oh, holy. How does that even happen? Oh, God, you would die just from that. <laughs> like, what do you do? I guess you just gotta... Yeah, you gotta just wait for the right time. Kick for the surface and keep kicking. Do not let go of my hand. Oh, my God. I guess, yeah, like the pressure, right? Oh, God. We're gonna make it, Rose. Trust me. Oh, because it'll drag them down. Like, the force of it will drag them down. Oh, God. At least she has the life vest on. The life vest should help her go to the top. Oh! Oh, my God! No! What? Keep swimming! And he doesn't even have a life jacket. He's just swimming with no floating help. Oh. They're not going to be able to both fit on it. It's too heavy with two people. Hold on just a little bit longer. They, they had to roll away for the suction. But now they'll be coming. Yeah, they'll be coming back. Oh my god, are they not going back? I understand. If we go back, they'll swamp the boat. Oh. They'll pull us right down, I'm telling you. Oh, but you can't just let let them suffer. Why are they... Right! Listen to me, man. We have to go back. I want to transfer all the women from this boat into that boat right now, as quick as you can, please. Oh, uh, to, like, clear a whole boat, right? Oh. Bless. He's gonna die from hypothermia, probably. It's just gonna take him a couple of minutes. Oh, his hair is frozen. The boat's organized. Oh. Oh, he's not gonna make it, is he? I love you, Jeff. Oh. 
Don't you do that. Oh. Don't you say your goodbyes. Not yet. Do you understand me? I'm so cold. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna freeze to death before anything else. You're gonna die an old an old lady oh. warm in her bed. Winning that ticket, Rose, was the best thing that ever happened to me. Mm. It brought me to you. Oh, that's really sweet. That you won't give up. <laughs> no matter what happens. She's going to live the life that they were supposed to have. Promise me now, Rose. <laughs> and never let go of that promise. <laughs> I promise. No. I will never let go, Jack. I'll never let go. No, oh, isn't that beautiful? Jesus. Jesus. Oh, oh God. Are they all dead bodies? Oh God. They're all dead. Careful with your doors. Oh. Don't hit them. Bless. It's, no, surely not. I mean, oh my god, I'm so stupid. She's alive. She's literally at the start of the movie. <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> yeah, she's alive. Jesus. Come on, Rose. You can save both of them. You can save both of yourselves. Jack. There's a boat. Jack. Oh. No, is he already dead? Jack! Oh. Jack! There's a boy, Jack! So close. The boat is like right there. If only he lasted a little bit longer. Oh. I go. I promise. Oh. Oh no. Come on. Oh, the whistle. The whistle. Oh. Come up. Oh my God. Yes. There were 20 boats floating nearby. Oh. And only one Only one back. Jesus. That's so messed up. Yeah, sh is she gonna hide from him? Hide, hide, hide. Yeah, she's gonna have her new life now. Even without Jack. But the crash of 29 hit his interest hard. And he put a pistol in his mouth that year. Oh, goodness me. Can I tell your name, please, love? Dawson. Uh, Rose Dawson. That makes sense, because she died on the ship with her last, with her other last name. So she took Jack's. But now you know there was a man named Jack Dawson, and that he saved me in every way that a person can Aww. be saved. That's so beautiful. He exists now, only in my memory. Oh, bless. Not even a single picture. I thought of nothing except Titanic, but I never got it. Like the tragedy of what it truly, like, happened. Ugh, I knew it. I knew she had it in that coat pocket the whole time. Oh, I guess it's like a reminder of what happened, right? Like to... For well, her memory. Yeah, the heart of the ocean. It belongs in the ocean. Isn't she beautiful? Oh, she became a pilot! No way! Oh, she went horse riding on the beach in California. Oh, isn't that lovely? Yeah, she lived her life. Isn't that sweet? Oh. 
Oh, at the claw. That's probably like her happiest memory going on an adventure with him. No. So beautiful. Is that the end? Oh man. Oh yeah, the Celine Dion song. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm gonna need like a moment. My makeup is all just like melted off. This is so embarrassing. <laughs> okay, um, I fixed up my makeup a little bit. I've blown my nose. I've collected myself. I feel like now we can do the discussion and final thoughts. I feel like this was obviously a fantastic movie. I really enjoyed it. I like that they had sort of like the present day at the start explained us what happened because I'm not very familiar with history. So I didn't really know what actually happened to the Titanic in like history wise. I just knew that it was a boat that crashed into an iceberg. So I like that they gave us the breakdown of it. And then obviously pretty much like what Rose said of like, oh, that was really interesting, but it felt really different because they were looking at it so clinically. And then obviously it's so different from what would have happened then and there. And she experienced it firsthand and like the horrors, of course. So I really like that we got to see like both sides. And I also liked that the, you know, that crew at the end were just like, oh, you know, like they finally kind of got it. But the, I'm so glad that they really like got it at the end, you know, which I thought that was so nice. I really liked Rose and um Jack's relationship. At first I was a little bit apprehensive, but they really had great chemistry and the way it was written was so good. Like she was just such a, a woman in such a tough spot that she couldn't get herself out of, right? And her only option at the time that she could think of was just to jump off. And he was such a free spirited, fun young man, but you know, very like loyal and headstrong. So it makes sense that they would kind of fit together really well. I think it was a really beautiful relationship. I also liked of when he was drawing her. I feel like it was, I love that she said it was the most erotic moment of my life. Um, I just feel like for her as a character, it was probably, it was probably the turning point, right? of her as a person where she f fully decided even if she didn't realize like in that moment she decided that she was gonna live her life like Jack does. I really liked that moment. It really showed a lot of sort of her mindset I guess. I'm glad that they showed like the, the goodness in people and the badness in people because obviously in a situation like that, it is kind of every man for himself at some point or every woman for themselves at some point. But it was just really sad because I feel like to me that seems really realistic. If not, it would be more savage, right? In real life. I feel like maybe they made it quite savage, but I think it would have been way more savage actually in the event that happened. But yeah, I was so really sad. Really like tugged at my heartstrings. I won't lie. Now going into this movie, I knew that it was gonna be a romance and that obviously it would be a little bit sad, but man, I didn't expect it to be like that sad. <laughs> it was like too sad. Like it was so devastating. And yeah, I don't know. And the fact that it's like kind of based on real events too, I feel like that makes it even worse. Just so sad, man. I don't know what to tell you. Um, But really great movie. I think it was a lot better than I was expecting because obviously it's three hours. I'm not really someone who watches long movies, but I swear that did not feel like three hours. I feel like that went so quick and I was so invested in the story. I was so invested in the relationships and like what was gonna happen and how it was gonna happen. It, it really didn't feel like th a three hour movie, which I'm really happy about. That's when you know it's a good movie, when it doesn't feel too long. It's definitely a heartfelt, emotional movie, you know, with romance at its core, but I think it's also, I don't know, social commentary on the human society, pretty much, oh, well, on, on class as well. Like they had a lot of like classist stuff in there, like class commentary. And yeah, and like a lot of gender commentary as well. So I thought that was really interesting. I thought it had like a lot of different aspects. Even though romance was the main thing, it was sort of a, a movie that makes you think, I guess. I really liked it. Please comment down below if you cried as much as I did watching this movie. What did you think about the ending? I would love to hear your thoughts. If you would like to see the full uncut, unedited reaction of me like crying, I think for like over an hour straight, you can check it out on my Patreon if that's something you're interested in. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you again soon. Goodbye.